Hey guys, Freddy Krueger here. Uh, today I want to do a quick tutorial on how to install an ECI puck. And uh, this is primarily for those of you who are maybe coming from the two puck Garmin system, which was the round puck. And now you want to go to a single puck ECI system. And uh, this part right now is going to just cover how to install the actual puck and plug it into the harness. I have another video that will actually cover how to do the software update that you would need to do to run an ECI puck or even if you wanted to just upgrade to version S. Um, I do have that uh, on my YouTube channel and I'll try to make that available to everybody. But when you order your puck from uh, off the Zero Off website, which is zerogps.com, you will get a an ECI puck and on the back of it, if this is for a three event boat, you're gonna look on the, on the back right here and there, there'll be a sticker and it'll end with 3E and that stands for three events. So you can check and make sure that you do in fact have the right puck. You can see the light blue adhesive here is for the, uh, to stick down to the boat. And you're also gonna get a harness. Now, one end of the harness has just this one single puck, uh, sorry, plug, and that's going to plug into the ECI puck. You'll hear it click and now we're uh, have the puck and the harness together. This end right here, you can see that there's four plugs, but we're only gonna use two. And that oftentimes creates some confusion. And we're gonna go inside the boat under the dash and I'm gonna show you how and where to plug those in. But uh, the first thing we wanna do is just cover a couple of things out here. Now, if you're placing a Garmin puck on a Mastercraft, you will take the, the puck off the driver's side, unplug it from inside, and you can literally pull the pluck at, uh, puck out. There might be some uh, zip ties or whatever that you've got to cut loose but the hole here will be big enough and just the right size that you can literally pull the Garmin puck off it'll leave a hole and this stem if you will on the ECI puck will slide right down in there and you can plug this in and you may want to plug it in before you stick it down uh, just so you're not pulling and pushing on fresh, fresh adhesive but uh, if you have a Malibu boat the hole will be very small and you will need to drill it out. And sometimes uh, you may even find that you've got to move it slightly. Uh, the Garmin pucks on the Malibus are very close to the windshield and sometimes the ECI puck won't fit right over the top of the other one. So uh, if you're not used to drilling through gel coat, I please, please, please uh, either take the boat to a dealership, talk to somebody who's used to drilling on gel coat because it is different than uh, dr drilling through wood or metal. Um, the last thing we want to cover here is that when you get your ECI puck, you'll see it has a, uh, it's not quite of a, a rectangular shape and there's an arrow that's pointing, uh, towards one end of the, of the puck here. And it's, it's just kind of laid into the, the plastic. And what you want to do is you want to make sure that the, as you set the puck on, that arrow is pointing straight forward in the direction of travel. Okay. Uh, that will make sure that all the accelerometers and all the GPS data that's coming in are showing that the boat is tracking true direction. If we get it on there crooked, it'll think that you're running down the course sideways. Okay, uh, so let's now go inside and I'll show you how we plug this baby in. Okay, so now we're inside the boat and from here to, to hook up the ECI puck, we're going to work underneath the dash. and. Um, when we installed the puck on the outside, I mentioned that the Mastercraft has the hole already done. The Malibu has a very small hole, then you're going to need to drill drill it out or, or drill a new hole to position the puck. Um, I didn't mention the Craft, and I'm not sure exactly how their holes, I haven't seen one done on there. So I don't, but it'll, it'll basically be one of the two. It'll either be like the Malibu where it's a very small hole you'll need to drill out or it'll be a big enough hole that you can literally just swap one for the other. Now, We'll also find differences between all three boat manufacturers underneath the dash. Um, the Malibu actually has their harnesses and that are just zip tied straight up under the, the dash here. So um, you're not like on the Mastercraft here, I'm getting ready to remove uh, what we call a kick panel and a fuse cover that I'll take you through that step in a minute. The Malibu, you won't have, you can skip that step and go right to the, to the last step. Um, the Nautique, Again, I know where they mount their head units up under the dash, but I'm not exactly sure how they do their wiring harnesses, if they're behind a kick panel or not. But hopefully as you watch this tutorial, you'll understand enough of the components that whether you're working on a Malibu or a, a Crecraft or even an older Centurion or whatever, you'll be able to bridge the gap and put the pieces together. 
So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take, I'm going to show you a quick video here of uh, what I need to disassemble to get to the, the wiring harness that's going to come from the uh, puck. And then I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and disassemble that and we'll pick up from there. Okay, so as I come under the dash uh, over here on the left side, this is a, a plastic cover that actually covers part of the fuse uh, panel. And there's uh, three screws here that take a number two bit that we're going to take out. There's one, two, three right there. And then as we come around to this side, these screws right here are also going to come out. And these will take a number three bit. And it's going to remove this what we call a foot panel. And uh, if you look over here in the top right corner on the Mastercraft, this is where the actual, this is the brains of the operation for the uh, three event head unit. And again, on a uh, Nautique, those are mounted up under the dash on a metal harness. Um, and I can't remember exactly where Malibu has theirs, but uh, this is when you do the software upgrade, this is where what you're actually talking to and making the changes. But um, there, you don't need to disassemble, disassemble this or take it apart. Uh, right now, we're just going to keep it in the foot panel. I'm just going to take the whole fo foot panel out and slide it down so I can see the wiring harness behind it. So let me take care of that real quick, and uh, then we'll go from there. I apologize about uh, some of this camera work here, but I'm, I'm upside down in the floor of the boat here, and uh, it's a little tight under the dash. So, um, But what we've got here is I've now removed that, that gray kick panel that was here. Okay, so that I can get to the wiring harnesses that are that are behind it. And if you look right up here, this is where the ECI puck is coming through the deck. Okay, and you can see right here is the, the black stem, the female part that's on the ECI puck. This gray plug plugs into that. And this is the, uh, as in the earlier mention of the video where I showed you the, uh, the harness that came with the ECI puck. Now, again, I mentioned in that video that there were four plugs on the end of that, but we're only going to use two. And what you want to do is you want to work your way back from your head unit. And so this is going to be plugged into the back of your head, head unit, that black thing I showed you that was in the kick panel. And I've, I've removed that right now for the sake of the video so that we can, uh, have a little more space in here to view this but you follow that back and you'll you'll find this there's the gray buzzer that beeps uh when you're going through the course and doing whatnot and if you keep following along the harness you'll come to this cluster of plugs and in here will be two green and orange plugs and your garmin pucks are going to be plugged into these and what you want to do is unplug the two garmin pucks if you want to leave them on the boat or leave them in the boat uh, that's totally up to you some people remove them some people leave them uh, it really doesn't matter as long as they're unplugged from here. Okay, so that we've green and orange plugs, we unplug them, and then that's going to be our Garmin plugs are no longer active. Then here we've got, um, we're going to have two female plugs as a part of this cluster that have, this one has black, pink, red, and then a black and white. This one is what we call our can wire plug. It's got a blue and white, a blue and pink, and a red and white. And on the end of that ECI harness that goes on the puck, we've got two males and two female plugs. The two female plugs, we're not going to do anything with. They're just going to hang there. The two males, we're going to plug into this cluster. One is triangular. One is rectangular. Okay. We plug those two in. And at that point in time, our installation for the ECI puck is complete. We're done. It's that simple. Now, we do still have to do the software update for the head unit if you're going from a Garmin system to an ECI system. They, they, it takes different software in the head unit, um, and I have a video for that, as I mentioned earlier, so that will help with that. But nice and easy, the ECI puck is uh, installed, ready to go, and uh, if you have any questions, I'm going to put my contact information down below uh, of this video try and put it in here so you can reach me if you have any questions but um should be nice and simple and, and clean like that so i hope it works well for you and uh have fun on the water